Hey everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with our Zanini box, which comes in a bag. And an envelope, so it's called a bag envelope. A bag envelope. <laughs> Um, I do know that I reached out to the owner of Zanini last month, Mystery Pop Theater, shout out to him. He reviewed the pins and then they were doing a contest that if you were already subscribed, um, you could win three additional pins. So I had entered and the owner reached out to me and he sent me extra pins in this bag. Cool. So I'm not sure what we got, but we will see. Okay, so um, they're just kind of all in here, so I'm not sure which ones are the extra ones, but we will show them off to you. Uh, the first one, now we get the premium package, which comes with five pins. Mm -hmm. But if you were to get the basic package, the pins you would get would be... Starting off here with the RoboCop. So that's the first pin that you would get. And then the second pin in the basic package would be Homer Simpson from The Simpsons. And again, I, I've watched The Simpsons since they started. And I will say the same thing I always say, since they were a five minute little segment at the end of the Tracy Ullman show. And then she stopped after it became its own show. <laughs> kind of, yeah. And then the last pin you get is the basic one is a video game pin, and this is Grand Theft Auto V, the game that Rockstar keeps trying to shove down our throats every year, because every time there's a new system, they want to promote this game, and it's kind of dying. All right, and then if you were to get the standard package, which comes with four pins, the next pin, which is actually a really cool pin, is Hot Girl. Because that's still the DC for the standard. Yeah, and that's a pretty cool pin. That's really awesome. And then the one that you get for the premium for the fifth pin, since they're doing Marvel, you get the Hulk. All right, and then the three pins we got, we've actually gotten before in prior um, boxes, bags. Bag envelopes. Bag envelopes. Well, they were just in bags back then. So we did, we're not going to take these ones out because we've shown these before, but we got Spider-Man, which is pretty awesome. And we have... People do know the ones I don't keep, I do gift. Splinter and Captain Marvel. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So these are awesome pins, great pins. Um, I like the way that the backs are done. I love the cards they come on. Uh, especially like this one, like Homer has a donut in the corner, you know, so they have different things. Spider-Man has a web, you know, some of them have their own picture, but these are amazing cards. Amazing. Our yeah. pins. And then we also get the cards, which we're going to open and show you. So the cards already come in a sleeve to hold them up. And uh, so they do come in a sleeve already to just add right to your binder. But we're going to pull them out and show you guys all the different cards we got. So the first one I got here is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. It has a bunch of them on there. And as we've said before, on the back there are... There's a spot where somebody can sign. There's also a, what is this called again, Spectre? A uh, QR code. A QR code. Um, and then it gives different things. Like this comic was published May 10th, 1984. Um, it tells you the writer was Jim Shooter. So it gives you different information about the card. And the QR code will take you to an Amazon link to purchase yes. that comic, game, movie, whatever. It'll give you, yeah, each 
one will do different things based on what's available. Here we have Action Comics. Action Comics number two from 38. Now, does Action Comics still exist, or was that the one that went away? Um, I believe they went away. Okay. I think so, too, but I'm I could be wrong. I'm not sure. We're still in the learning process of comics, so... All right, next one. My favorite Marvel superhero. And that is Wolverine. Wolverine number one. Yes, Wolverine number one. But guess what? What? You have the Wolverine yes. number one canvas. I do. And I love this canvas. It was the main reason I got the box. So that's really cool. So that is pretty awesome. All right, next one, we're going to move to movies. Yep. And for the first one, we have Titanic from 90, 1997. You know, it's funny. I don't think I've ever seen all of Titanic. Neither have I. But uh, Leonardo plays the lead in this one. Yes. And the lead in The Great Gatsby. Yes. The reason being is because Jack survived Titanic and he became the Great Gatsby after he sold the Pearl of the Sea. That's why the Great Gatsby is afraid of water. Always, anybody that joins our lives every Tuesday, our channel, our Geeky Momos, knows that we call Spectre the man full of useless knowledge. <laughs> and I know it's not all useless, but it's just the way, you know. All right, this one is Million Dollar Baby, and it has Clint Eastwood in it. And, um... I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen this movie either, to be honest. I've seen most of it. From 2004. Warner Brothers. So that's pretty cool. And then next we have a movie that I enjoy, and it's The Hurt Locker from 2009. Oh, I think I've seen that one. I love war movies. All right, and then the next card is Death Stranding. Yeah, you're down to video games now. Oh, is this a video game? Yes. Okay. Um, so this is a video game. Oh, this was just released last year, November 8th, 2019. Yeah, I believe that's Walking Simulator. You just carry packages and you walk from one place to another, and you oh. have, like, a baby that you're trying to keep alive. Okay. Um, again, a spot for somebody to sign and the QR card. QR code, yeah. Code. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. All right, go and ahead. And then now we have one of my favorite games, which I haven't gotten on the Switch yet, but I will hopefully soon. And it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate from 2018. This one has every character from the Super Smash Brothers, so Mario, Link, all the Pokemon, everything. Okay, this game... Activision Pitfall. Let me tell you. I owned this game for the Atari 2600. And I played and played and played this game. I used to love to play this game. The difference between when we played games and when people play games that are like Spectre's age when they were younger or whatever is when you died in these games, you started from the very, very beginning. It didn't matter what level you were on, what you had completed yet, you had to start over. We have a lot of games like that. So. I've never seen any games like that. Go play Dark Souls. When you beat it, you have to play it from the very beginning, and it's twice as hard. I don't know, but these cards are awesome. I love these cards. Um, you know, we got one, oh, I think we got one with our pins, and we've seen how heavy, because they're heavy-duty cards. Yeah, these and we see not... how heavy duty they were, and we're like, hey, maybe we do want to collect these. Yeah, they're not like regular trading cards. So, again, I love my Zanini. I love the pins. I love the cards. I do know they offer other pins, like I think there's um, dogs. dogs, and I think something else was coming. Um, but I like these ones where you get a variety. And again, I don't keep them all. I keep the ones I want, but... I choose to get the five packs so that I have my choice of what I want to keep. And then, you know, we do giveaways, AOKs, whatever may call for some of the other ones. 
And one day we will get a box. One day it will come in a box. <laughs> um, the day it comes in a box, I'm sure I'll hear Spectre screaming, it's in a purple box. So, um, anyways. It better be in a purple box. It better be in a purple box. I'll be disappointed. But great, great pins. Um, any keepers for you, Spectre? Um, probably the Homer one and the Grand Theft Auto one. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Much as I hate the game, I still play it all the time. Yeah, I like the Hulk one. I used to love Hulk back when it was. Uh, I used to love the Hulk back when it was a TV show with like Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby. Um, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. So that might be a keeper for me just because it brings back memories. Other than that, um, some great pins. I just don't know which other ones I will keep just yet. But again, we love getting them so we can make these choices. And they're great pins with great detail. Yeah. So, all right, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. subscribe and hit the bell